Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Complete The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Uh, I do not entirely remember what we were doing in the last episode because it's been a while since I've recorded. However, what I do know is that I finished grinding out all of those stupid goddamn skills. <laughs> or at least the ones we need for the temple. So you can see we have 30 in Blunt, 30 in Mysticism and 70 in Restoration. Restoration and Mysticism were easy. I just stood and clicked the mouse for about an hour and they were all done. Super duper easy. Just put on a film and that was fine. Uh, Blunt was a pain in the goddamn ass. Basically, but my, tr my, my hack did work by the way, I turned the difficulty all the way up and I just swam around in the water and then I ended up like, you know, just attempting to whack the slaughterfish over and over again and that did indeed level me up pretty quickly. I mean it wasn't quick because, you know, you have to like attempt to hit the fish like 200 times and you hit it, you actually hit it about three of them, which is frustrating. <laughs> But the point is it did work because it allowed me to like get more hit, successful hits, you know, on one enemy without having to find more enemies. So that did work, which is nice. So the point is we have the skills we need to continue with the temple. I think our long blade is at 72 because I was while I was, um, you can see we're level 12 now as well because obviously as I was leveling up uh, restoration because it's a minor skill, it does count towards level ups. And I didn't want to, when we were leveling up, I didn't want to not have uh, like points to put towards the attributes or what are these called attributes whatever these things are called um, and so I also I did some like training in between as well so I think I trained heavy armor and maybe long blade sometimes and speechcraft maybe so, some other skills so that I had more things to put into attributes so yeah we're level 12 now you can see we've got three to willpower because I'm just finishing off restoration there so yeah some of these might look a bit different as well but that's just because I paid for training um, so yeah, that's that's what I've done. I think we still need to get long blade up to 80 in the end, but I think we're good at 72 in order to move on with the fighters guild now anyway, because I think it only needs to be 70 for now. So I think we're good on all fronts. So we are back in Aldrune, and we are going to go head to the temple and see if they will give us a goddamn quest now. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to have to like uh, you know rank up, uh, so, so like advancement, like uh, you know five times or whatever. So let's see. Uh, no, I have not been lax in my duties. However, I need an advancement. Okay, you are now Avelin the Initiate, and I think the, he's gonna have like four of these for us, I think. <laughs> yeah, you are now Avelin the Acolyte. You are now Avelin the Adept. You are now Avelin the Curate. One more. Oh my god, you are now Avelin the Disciple. And, okay. There we go, there we go. So yeah, literally five, five rank ups. I, I did think there was like a weird you know, gap between, you know, how often we ranked up in the temple and how often we ranked up in the fighters guild, but yeah, I just, I didn't read it properly, I guess. But anyway, we are now at the appropriate rank, so hopefully this man should give us some more quests. So, do you have any duties for me? Yes, he does. A dark cult is practicing the foulest of arts only a few hours from here in the cavern of Hasauer. Ha Hasauer? I don't know if that's how you say it. There is a dark cult dwelling in Hassauer. Go to Hassauer and bring the tribunal's justice to the leader of this cult, Dagoth Foven. Be warned, disciple, but Dagoth Foven is a terrible foe. You may wish to fight more of the lesser servants of the Sixth House before taking on Dagon, Dagoth Foven. <laughs> Many of the righteous have fallen to him. To get to Hassa, go to Balmora, then head east toward Moonmoth Legion Fort. When you enter the Foyada Mayama. <laughs> <laughs> Mamia, oh my god, I, my pronunciation in this let's play was just terrible. Follow it all the way south. Okay. Okay, so back to Balmora to Moonmoth Legion 4, which we've been to many times already. And just follow the, the, the lava river thing. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, I don't think, I think by um, saying that, you know, we might want to... I am blessed to be able uh, you know, to deal with other people first. It's just a way of saying he's going to be a difficult foe, but I don't particularly care about that. I'm sure we'll be fine. So, oh, now I've been playing Skyrim. My controls are all messed up. So, we need to go back to Balmora, which is down here. So, it should be. You see, this is Ghost Gate. So, I think this is the. Because we followed that before, the, the big crevice thing. I think that's what he's talking about, the Foyada thing. So, we need to follow it all the way south this time. So, it's probably like here ish. I would think. So let's head back to Balmora anyway. And we'll uh, take a walk, I suppose. Uh, in fact, since we're here, we may as well see if we can ask a guard or someone to give us directions. Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to find it not too. No, not, you know, it, sh it shouldn't be too difficult to find, hopefully. 
Uh, I'm just so glad that we finally <laughs> got all those stupid skills leveled up. Uh, and yeah, that does seem to be pretty much the only way to do it, just kind of run around and find things. Because there isn't really, you know, there's no like shadow mirror or anything in order to grind skills out on. Can you tell me anything about Hass, Hassa, whatever it is? No, okay, well that's fine. We'll, we'll find it, we'll find it. Uh, but yeah, I, I have discovered, however, that we really, really need to hoard all the things we can possibly get and sell them for as much money as we possibly can. Uh, because, well, because the, the skills are so shitty to try and grind out, the best way is just to train, just to pay people. And since there's weirdly no cap on how many levels you can train per level, which seems really overpowered, but I guess it is expensive, so I guess most people wouldn't have the money to, but yeah, you can just train infinitely. <laughs> you know, you can, uh, like, I, I guess if you just add uh, like a whole load of money with the console and you can just, you know, buy all the training, I guess. I mean, that seems really kind of cheap and lazy, but sure. So we've got, I mean, this is Moon Moth Legion 4 over here, and we've got the Foy Foyada thingy, thingamajig. That's like, it, it's over here, right? This is where we go up to... Uh, the the Dwemer the Dwemer ruin that I've forgotten the name of it but the ruin is up here right I think so um, and then I think we we drop down over the bridge and we have to follow it south this time instead of north like we did before so what I, I thought I thought I heard something but no I'm clearly just imagining things so excuse me can we not jump over here can we jump okay there was like a weird invisible wall here so yeah if we drop down here I think this is the Foyada thing whoa that was that was a big slide. Okay, we've got a... Oh no, you're you're not hostile, are you? Yeah, Scrib. Okay, well, we'll leave him be, and now we'll just follow it south. All the way, I suppose. That's what that's what he said, so we'll follow it all the way. Um, oh, have I not turned the difficulty back down? <laughs> have I, uh... Uh... Preferences? Yeah, see, the difficulty's still all the way up. We'll just put it like there-ish, whatever. Yeah. We don't want to be hitting things forever. Well, I suppose it would level up our long blade skill. And now that we are, um, you know, a decent level with the long blade, uh, we are at least hitting most of the times that we swing, which is <laughs> a drastic improvement at the very least. Um, yeah, so we got, um, I mean, I assume we just keep going this way, right? What is this? Uh, yeah, okay, that doesn't tell me anything. That's just telling me where, where, where the major cities are, but we're not looking for a major city. We've got a whole load of Nyx hounds here. Oh, we did, anyway. Uh, well, no, there's still one over here. I don't know what that is. I mean, it just said follow it all the way south, so I'm assuming we don't want to be turning off left or anything. We just want to keep keep going south, although that, that is kind of that south. So I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll keep going this way for now. Um, oh, one, oh, you know what? You know what I did figure out? I figured out how to wear the boots of blinding speed uh, permanently. So I did test this out very briefly. Did, did I actually buy the spell or did I reload it? Uh, when I bought the spell. Yes, there we go. Strong Resist Magicka. So I think... Wait, no, is that the right one? Magicka Guard? No, so yeah. Okay. So after we finish this, we're going to find a spell maker. And we can make like a 100% resist magic spell. I just bought some resist magic spells because you have to know one in order to be able to make one. Which is kind of annoying, but it makes sense. Um, and then you just, you cast it, and then immediately open your inventory and equip the boots, and then you'll just forever have the effect. <laughs> and it's amazing, you, even if it does for some reason, like, the effect comes off, you can just do it again, it's really easy. Um, so yeah, we, we can now wear the boots of blinding speed without actually being blind, which is going to be pretty sick. Um, but yeah, we do need to go and make the spell. See, I see, I feel like we should have taken the left path, actually, because it's kind of, you know, south is this way, we're kind of going... What, what, southwest, I suppose? So, because, I mean, this is like the end of the the end of the thing, and I'm not seeing any... Not seeing any caves or anything that we... Oh, wait, wait, hang on, what's this? <laughs> is this what we're looking for? Just walked straight past that, didn't I? Pass out, there we go. Well, that's exactly what we're looking for. Let's do a hot quick save, because apparently this man's going to be difficult, and I suppose we're just clearing the place out. I can... I can hear, um... I need to hear ghosts whispering in my ear. What is this? What, what are you? I, I hate that it doesn't like tell you what it is, what the thing is until you like read the, the tag on the body. Like I wanna I wanna know who you are, who I'm trying to kill. Who are you? Ash slave. Okay, well you can you can keep your ash salts. You got any got anything up for for me? Yeah well, yeah, we have got small chest and a bargain forged by Magicus. So uh, let's open our 
magic menu and uh, equip equip our open spell. We probably should be lock picking, but eh, whatever. <laughs> I don't really care to be honest. If we need to get lock picking up, I think I'll probably just train it. Um, Cause yeah, I, I'm not running around trying to find a shitload of chests to open. I'm just not. Oh wow, we've got a whole load of whole load of guys in here. Oh, are you dead? Okay. Uh, is he dead? I, I don't even know. I didn't like see his uh, bar go down. Oh, there are loads of people here, and their 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 magic effects are so loud. I mean, I've turned the um. I don't know. I feel like the just the game, the the volume balancing is really poor in Morrowind. So it's like you know, because I don't want to turn the effects off completely, because um, you know you might miss something important, but at the same time they that just everything seems to be insanely loud whenever it comes to anything magic. And the weather. The weather is insanely loud as well. <laughs> and the music, but then like things like footsteps are not, really. <laughs> um, which, I mean, I suppose it makes sense that footsteps aren't. Oh wow, look at that, he's got like no eyes. What on earth? That is super creepy. Oh, what's this? Oh, a spiked club. Okay, that's not interesting. I can't like, um... Yeah, look at that, look at his face. He's got like a, he's like caved in where his eyes are supposed to be. Ugh. Oh god, that's, I don't like that at all. Not, not one bit. It's nice that they've uh, got these these nice little candles for us, though. Okay, we've got a half shrine. That goes deeper in. However, there was another passage, and I would like to explore this place thoroughly. So, what is down this way? Oh, okay, a big drop. Are we, are we meant to drop down here? I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, we've got, a, got another door down here. So, where does this go? Okay, just into the shrine as well. Whoa! Okay! Oh, will I? <laughs> Feel like you should have, uh, you know, maybe had the skills to back that up before you can charge at me. Whoa! Hi. Yeah. I, were they? Was this here before, or was this a summon? I don't know. I think it was there before because it didn't disappear. Okay, that's just a greater bone walker. Got another guy up here. Oh my god, this place is absolutely filled, filled with people. Got a nice little bra brazier burning there. You got nothing. Yeah, I don't think any of these guys are gonna have anything. I will check these guys though because they are. These guys are a bit different. They're like not. Yeah, they, they can talk, you know, they're not like zombified like the other guys seem to be. And, oh, what are these? A bell. Do, do these do anything? <laughs> Sixth house bell hammer. Ooh, worth 5,000 gold. Oh, it weighs 75, though. Can we even take that? <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we, we can afford to take that. I mean, we, we have to offload it pretty quickly. Like... Is, is there a secret? If I if I play these in the right order, will it do something? <laughs> will I open a secret passage? I doubt it, but I don't know, that's really interesting. And why are there bells? Is that a, a bells related to Dagoth Ur in some way? I don't I don't really know. <laughs> I don't think so, but I I might be missing something there. What have we got up here? This looks like an important place for an important person. Are you the person I was sent to kill? You uh, you look a bit different. You got a strange looking face there. You kind of look like a, a small elephant. Who are you? Yes, Dagoth Favon. That is indeed the person I was sent to kill. Sixth house amulet. Worth 2,000 gold. Nice. Drain attribute personality. Oh, so that's, that's just a negative effect. But sure, one. What on earth is this? It's whispering at me though. We've got small corpus meat hunt. What on earth? I mean, that's almost like thumbnail worthy. That's super cool looking. No idea what it is or why it's talking shit, but it, it's cool. <laughs> we got anything in here? Just a whole load of corpus meat? Ew. Ew. That's really disgusting. <laughs> we got anything else? Oh, oh okay. We got um, we got some more chests here. We got anything interesting in here? Uh, trash. I and mean, what about in here? Okay, that was locked. That's fine. We can open it. It's merely a barrier. Ooh, yeah, we have got stuff in there. What's this? A fat loot. <laughs> I'm good. Well, I mean, why, why is it fat, you know? I feel like it's unnecessary to call it that. I've got a whole load of scrolls there, which I'll take. What's this? 36 Lessons of the Vec. That's an interesting thing to have in here. But well, we've got a mysticism skill from it. That would have been nice when I was trying to, you know, uh, grind out all that bloody mysticism. Although the mysticism wasn't that bad, to be honest. It, it was the blunt that was a pain in the ass. Okay, this one's also trapped, but we don't, we don't much care now, do we? Oh, two, yeah, 267 gold on there. Oh, not really that great. Got a whole load of lava down there, which I'm... I mean, I'm assuming we will die if we fall in the lava. <laughs> um, I've kind of been naturally avoiding it. Just uh, those Minecraft instincts kicking in. They're, uh, they're, they're trust me, a, a well-rooted instinct. Uh, growing up, that Minecraft was pretty much all I ever played. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so I just I naturally avoid lava, and we've all had the very traumatizing experience of falling in it because you, you know, your, your pinky got tired of holding down the, the, the button on the keyboard, and you fell in, you lost all your stuff, and you cried about it, and your mum took the game away because it was clearly causing you distress. Or is that just me? Because <laughs> that, that's what happened to me. Uh, yeah, she was very, very concerned, but she was like, it's just a video game. And I'm like, yeah, but I lost all my stuff. And it, yeah, she never really got the whole video game thing. <laughs> anyway, I think that is everything. I was going to, you know, explore further, but it seems like that is everything. We have gotten everything. We've got quite a few uh, loots. Loot. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. We need to go through the other door uh, in order to get back up. I mean, we could just cast Levitate, but... Hey, that's, that's a lot of effort, isn't it, guys? <laughs> Why switch spells when you can just walk around the corner? Okay, there we go. Let's head back out. And now let's head back to Al's room and have this quest in. And hopefully there'll be someone who can uh, make spells for us in the temple as well. There should be. If not, there's a major skill we can go to. So then we can put on this, uh, we can make a resist magic spell. And then we can put on these boots, uh, which should make us like super duper fast. So let's go and say hello to, I, I don't know his name, <laughs> I'm not even going to lie, I don't know any of these characters' names. Um, yeah, they're, they're, to be fair, they've all got quite complicated names, they're very alien, so they're quite hard to remember. What's your name? I am blessed to be at your service. Tools, Tools, Tools Phelan, that's, that's not too hard to remember, I still won't remember it, but you know. <laughs> have you cleansed Hassor of the cultists? I have. You've slain Dagoth Faven and cleansed the dark cult from Hassar. As these cultists sometimes spread blight disease, perhaps you can make use of these scrolls and potions. Oh, okay, yeah, you know, oh, I, I think it would show down here if we had um, the disease. So yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. Um, but thanks, anyway. Okay, do you can I have another advancement? No, not yet. <laughs> uh, do you have any more duties for me? I have no more duties for you. Speak with Uvu, Laren, and Ghostgate, or Endrin in Vivek. Thank you for your for all you have done. Okay, so I think that means he's got. No more quests, like ever, he's just done. So, in fact, can you can you make spells? No, only training. Okay, let's see if there's anyone in here that will uh, allow us to make spells. You do enchanting, which, <laughs> by the way, several commenters have informed me that uh, apparently enchanting, ah, spell making, apparently enchanting is like the most overpriced thing in this entire game. Um, Cause like enchanting one item can run you like a hundred thousand gold. Which is absolutely ridiculous. Something is wrong with their economy, but hey, aren't we all in that boat right now? So, we can make a spell. So if we do resist magic um, on self, uh, magnitude one, I think it's just one. One for everything. No, 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 hang on, no. So it's it's 100% for one, yeah. Resist magic for 100% for one second on self. Um, so what should we call it? Just like ultimate resist magic or something? Ultimate resist ma magic. Or oh, they spell it with a K, don't they? There we go. Make it a bit more law friendly. Ma magic. Or is it with a C and a K? Oh, I'll put an A as well. There we go. Okay, ultimate resist magic and it only costs one hundred. Wait. I don't know how- oh no, it costs 118 to buy so that's fine. Okay, bye. Great. So now, is there something I can if we go you? Ultimate Resist Magicka, so the way we've got to do this is pretty much as we're casting it, we open our inventory. So, let's cast. And then you see, you see down here, it uh, immediately appeared, Resist Magicka. So, it's now on, but like the game's frozen because we're in the inventory screen. So, if we now go to the boots, boots of blinding speed, Blind 100%, but fortify attribute speed, 200 points, and we put them on. You resisted magic, so we're not blind. And now, even though the effect is gone from the from the bottom right down here, we, we can still see. So I think, yeah, look at that. Oh my god, look at how fast we are. <laughs> Holy, oh my god, that's like, I, I don't want to say it, but it's almost like too fast. But, oh my god, this is so much better. Look at this, look. <laughs> Can we go, go to third person? Oh my god! <laughs> yes, Alvin. What? What do you want? What is that animation? It looks like a, it looks like a like a sped up montage. <laughs> okay, that's that's absolutely fucking I hilarious. 
your service, Outlander. Yeah, blessed, yeah. Uh, <laughs> look at this. Oh my god, that's hilarious. But hey, we're really fast now, and you know what? That works for me. <laughs> so, it looks like if we want some more duties, uh, we need to head to either Vivek or Ghost Gate. So let's go to Vivek, since, oh, we're going to have to um, TCL out of City Rock. But hey, that's fine. And look, now we can zoom around. <laughs> zoom around to Vivek. Oh look at this! this the, the rat's been replaced with uh, whatever whatever this is, uh, a a kagouti. That's actually not what I was expecting. I was expecting like it to be a, a not not a gua. The, the it starts with an A, <laughs> but I've forgotten what it's called. Oh my god! Look at how fast we are. <laughs> like, look at this shit. Oh my god! That like, this is so much better. So much better. You know what? Like, I mean, this is completely manageable now. We're almost. I mean, I'm, I still think, are we, are we faster in Oblivion? I still think we might be faster in Oblivion. Uh, we're still going to use this person to just travel to the temple. Uh, mostly just because I always get lost in Quebec because the cantons don't line up like I think they would. So they're all kind of off kilter. <laughs> I, I just can't get over how fast we are. Okay, so I think, is it is it down? No, I think it's up here, isn't it? Is, is this the High Fane? Yeah, the High Fane. Is, is it you? And Yes, Endrin. Yes, it's you. Outlander. Okay. Do you have any duties for me? A precious relic of the temple, the Shoes of St. Rilms, has been lost. In a dream, a priest had a vision of the Shoes of St. Rilms lying neglected in the depths of Ald Sotha, just northeast of Vivek. Go to Ald Sotha, and if this is a true vision, return this sacred relic to the temple. Ald Sotha may be too difficult for you, Avelin, but you might make it through with the aid of these potions. In the priest's vision, the shoes were in a chest behind a statue of Mayrin Dagon. Okay, potion of heroism added. Yeah, I mean, I'm not worried about it being too difficult. I'm sure if you are actually playing the game properly, then it, it might be a problem. But I cannot be bothered with these incredibly outdated mechanics. <laughs> so, okay, uh, can, you, can you not tell me about Al Sotha? It just says northeast of Vivek, so I assume it's quite close. Um... Okay, well, northeast, northeast of Vivek, we can do <laughs> Look how fast we are, I'm not, I'm not gonna get over there anytime soon. <laughs> okay, so, north, north and east, so it, it must be like here ish. So let's go go back down here and talk to the, the fairy, fairy person, or the, the gondola, or what, what, whatever you are, the, the taxi, boat, boat taxi, or whatever. Uh, so I think, is it Telvani that's on the edge? I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're close to the edge, that's good enough for me. Look how fast we are, I'm not going to get over that. <laughs> yeah, so if we go around here, then that should take us to the, the bridge. Yes, okay, so. Northeast, I mean, yeah, so it should be like literally right over there. Uh, and it said Statue of Mayron's Dagon, so are we looking for a... A Daedric Ruin? Because Sotha is, um... Sotha Sill, a member of the Tribunal, so does it have something to do with him? I don't know. Oh, well that looks like a, a Daedric Ruin, which, and surely that's where we would find a statue of Mayrin's Dagon, right? <laughs> that, that makes sense. So is this Ald Sotha? I don't know. And so, kill these mud crabs. Oh my god, they're so fast. <laughs> this is amazing. Is this Ald Sotha? Yes, Ald Sotha upper level, okay. Well, do we, I mean, do we want to be on the upper level? Doesn't really look like the upper level to me. Hi! Uh, what, sorry, what, what, what do you call N N Nathala? Do you, uh, do you have something to say to me? I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Nathala Horrendez. How can I help you? Um, I'm, I'm, is she, oh, hi, okay. There's <laughs> stupid cliff racer here. Is she not, she's not hostile, that's interesting. Most people at the Daedric Ruins are hostile, but because it's, I don't know, is this one different? Because it's named, like, related to Sofa still, but we've still got a, Still got a scamp there. I hate that they make those human noises. That's so weird. Why did they do that? I've got another scamp. Yeah, stop! Stop making human noises. You sound like a, a human woman. I don't like it. Not in. Not not at all. Yeah. See, why is she not? Why is she not attacking me? Is it some sort of like religious thing? Is it something to do with Sotha Sil, or is that just a coincidence? And Sotha actually it means something in done language or whatever. I've got another got another scamp here. She doesn't seem to care that we're killing the scamps either. Well, I can't see any, any other doors, so let's head into the upper level. See, this doesn't look like the upper level to me. <laughs> it seems like the bottom level or the ground floor, but I don't know, maybe it's sunk or something. So, um, 
But, oh god, this looks like it's gonna be a maze. Who are you? Are you just a, a Dramora, I guess? Are you named? Oh, you got a spear. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Um, oh, we're not, not hitting him very much. Does it, wait, when you, um, when it calculates whether or not you actually hit the person, does it take into account the enemy's level? Or is it just your level? <laughs> And like your skill level or does it so you know like with the scamps because the scamps are obviously lower level do they not yeah look see these people are hostile but the lady outside is them <laughs> i don't know like you know so obviously a scamp is weaker so I, am i more likely to hit the scamp you know because it's a scamp as well as my skill or does it not take the enemy type into account i don't know <laughs> got steel viper scythe that's cool, it's not really worth that much though, and it weighs 20. Got anything else? No, just a whole load of bone meal crap. We're so fast, that's so funny. Uh, Dire Flame Blade, uh, it's worth nothing though. Ooh, two Master Lockpicks though, I will absolutely take that, and a Master Probe. What are the probes used for? Oh, is that is that how you like spring the traps on the chests? It might be. I, just, I can't get over this uh, like sound effect from when, when we're running, that's so funny. <laughs> it looks like a cartoon, it's, it's so silly. This whole game looks silly, to be honest. Um, oh, we got a got a. See, is that is that Dramora summoned or or not? I don't think so. I think there was another person in the room. So I think the Dramora was it. Can we can we hit the lady, please? Yes. Yeah, I think it definitely. Um, yeah, I, I think the you know who your enemy is probably just definitely is taken into account when the game decides whether or not you hit. Because um, yeah, it seems like you do hit less with these bigger enemies, but then at the same time, you know because they have more health overall then you know you don't necessarily get as many swings in because they're gonna die soon whoa <laughs> see like it's super cool that this ebony shield is valued at seventeen thousand gold but what merchant is gonna have seventeen thousand gold so like what why are they valued that much you know <laughs> it's like i mean we're gonna take it but Steel, yeah, no, that's trash. You can keep that hoe, and I will take the Pedra Heart though, and you can keep your shitty axe as well. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's anything in these side rooms, so I guess we'll just keep going on down. Um, I'm assuming whatever we're gonna find is gonna be close to the bottom, but then, then again, that's not always how it works in Morrowind. Okay, that goes to the lower level. I assume uh, the one on the other side also goes to the lower level, but let's just go and check. Yes, okay, so let's just go down to the lower level then. Yeah, because it is weird The, you know, usually when you have a dungeon, you know, you go to the bottom of the dungeon or the top of the dungeon sometimes. You know, the point is you go through the entire dungeon and then whatever you're looking for is at the end of the dungeon. <laughs> That's like how dungeons work, you know, typically in a video game. But that doesn't seem to be the case in Morrowind a lot of the time. It's just kind of, I don't know, they just, you know, often it'll be in like the first room, the second room, and the rest of the dungeon is just like, it, it's optional, you know, it's like, eh, you know, if, if you want to do it, then you can. Oh, is this, okay, this looks like an important room, but I don't know if it's the room we're looking for. Whoa. No one can match me. Oh, no one? What, what the hell are these guys, like, throwing at us? Ow. Oh, oh, we got to level up, that's cool. What, what even are these guys? Are they, they're like the alligator Daedra, are they like the Daedra from... Um, Oblivion? I mean, they look a bit different. They've got, like, the bodies of men, but then just with an alligator head. <laughs> Whereas the, the ones in Oblivion, the Daedroths, they're, like, actually big. Are these Daedroths? Is that what they are? Yeah, Daedroths, so I guess they just redesigned it uh, in between games. These ones are more green, whereas the ones in Oblivion are more orange. Ooh, gloves of sanguine s swift blade. Oh my god, fortify Oh my god, we're, <laughs> we're getting so much good stuff. Amulet of sanguine nimble armor. Fortify, okay, we don't wear light armor, so we can definitely- Oh my god, Ring of Sanguine Fluid Evasion. Are these- these are all like- are these related to- I don't think they're related to Sanguine the Daedric Prince, but I don't know, so I'm gonna look that up. We've got some Daedric Darts- oh my god, we're 4,000 each? What? <laughs> I mean, still, no one's gonna have 4,000 gold, so it's like- You know, I think the most gold I've ever seen anyone have is like 2,000 or something? Got a whole load of scrolls here as well. It's weird that you like actually read them in this game. We've got Chance's Folly, which is indeed a skill book. Oh, Security Increase, that's cool. We've got another skill book here, which are also worth a whole load. Scroll of Baleful Suffering, with a whole load of effects there. We've got, oh wow, stacks of gold. This is Daedric, Daedric Tanto. Oh my god, look, 
This is like the best dungeon ever. Look at all this stuff. Ancient Dagoth Brandy worth 1,500. Oh my god. <laughs> is that... Are you not... Wait, look at that. There's like coins in the skull. Dwemer coin. Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh, that's a nice touch because we, we took the coins. It summons like... What? What are these? Dwarven Spectre. Oh, because we... Oh, that... See, now that's a nice little touch. You know, it's the little things. I mean, we're still going to take their coins. There's nothing I can do about it, but... You see, you see it's, it's the little things. It's the little details, guys. Are we... Huh? Oh, no. <laughs> we're not doing... We're not doing magic or resist. I would like to uh, open this chest, please. There we go. And 254 gold. Oh, my God. I love this dungeon, guys. <laughs> New favorite dungeon. <laughs> I... These, these boots are really cracking me up. It's kind of hard to focus with this silly little cartoon sound effect going on. Okay, looks like we're going deeper to Al Sofa Shrine. Let's do a, another quick save. Hi! Okay, well that looks like a shrine to Mayroon's Dagon if I've ever seen is one. You, is it though? Stupid. Is it though? Stupid! Don't call me stupid. That's just rude. You know, you shouldn't call people names. You know, you, like we're trying to have an honourable duel here. And you're just calling me names. It's a low blow, you know? I'm gonna kill you all anyway, so there's no point in name calling. I do, I do like her uh, dress though. Uh, it's kind of a little bit sh extravagant to be living down in a dungeon like this, but uh, hey, each their own, I suppose. You know, there's no harm in liking nice things. So I'll take your Daedra heart. Man, I'm gonna have so much stuff to sell after this. Oh, this guy doesn't have a Daedra heart. Did we already take it? I don't know. So obviously, we need to look in the chest behind it, but let's loot everything else first. We've got, oh my god, we've got more sanguine. See, just. Because I think sanguine is it's a real word <laughs> and it means something. I'm just not entirely, I'm not 100% convinced I know what it means. So I'm going to have to look that up. But I think it's using sanguine as like an adjective rather than a, you know, reference to sanguine, the Daedric Pimps. So, got Ring of Sanguine Transcendence, which fortifies conjuration. We've got Ring of Sanguine Red Wisdom, fortifies destruction. <laughs> And Ring of Sanguine Transfiguration, which fortifies enchanting. Well, that might be actually quite useful. Uh, cure Paralyzation. Boy, restore Endurance. Oh, and a small key. I assume we're going to need that. We just got a whole load of uh, clothes and stuff as well. Got, uh, am I allowed to take these? Uh, I don't really care, to be honest. I'm going to take them whether you like it or not. A diamond. And a, oh my god, a Grand Soul Gem Ogrim. Worth 33k. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What an Ogrim. Because we, we've got another one of these that's filled with a bone walker soul. And we know what a bone walker is because we see him, but I don't know what an ogrim is. So, are you going to be mad at me? Are you going to summon something? No? Okay, seems like we're okay to take that. You can keep your pots and everything. That's just... Oh my god, an ebony broadsword. Do we have the... Yeah, no, you know what? No, we, we can't afford to take that. We've got so much shit to sell anyway. So, now I've got some chests here. Looks like they're both trapped anyway, so... They're not locked, so we may as well just open them up. We've got an Iron Flame Mauler, uh, which is cool, I guess, but it's only worth 70. We've got an Extravagant Ring, uh, some potions, which we may as well take. We've got Corpse Preparation Volume 1. Is that a skill book? No, it is not. <laughs> okay, well, we can sell it anyway. Nagasta Kvata Kvakis. Uh, we're actually looking for that book in Skyrim right now. Uh, we need that to give to Urag Groshub, but uh, this is a different game, and unfortunately we cannot uh, transfer books through games. And in here we have a light staff, uh, well, yeah, it's worth a decent amount, it weighs 7.2, mm, don't know if we can afford to take that. Exquisite ring, fighter ring, fortify attribute endurance, fortify strength, worth by 5 point, oh it's a, oh it's a, it's a spell though, damn. I hate that, that's so annoying. <laughs> I don't like that, um... You know, there, there doesn't seem to be any rings that have, like, active effects. You know, you have to, like, cast the spell. Um, which is kind of strange. I don't know if that's just a function of Morrowind or whatever. That's the same book as before. Book of the Daedra. Sure, I'll take it anyway. And yeah, I don't think we can afford to take that. But, hey, we've got other much more valuable things. So we've got... Because, I mean... Oh, I, I, it must be this chest. I see. I was going to say, you know, those are chests behind the statue, but I'm not seeing any shoes... But it looks like, ah yes, of course, we used a small key. We've got 500 gold and the Shoes of Saint Realms, which fortify attribute, personality, and endurance for five points. Is that like, yeah, there we go. See, that's a constant effect. I mean, that, that's the sort of thing I like. I mean, it's nowhere near as good as the boots of blinding speed. So, uh, you know, is it, no, no one's angry at me? Am I? We're all good to go? Yeah? 
Okay, well, I like that, so I think let's just get out of here. There's nothing else for us here, so let's just get out and head back to uh, Vivek. We don't even need to teleport this time because we're right next to it anyway and we can <laughs> run super fast. Now, it literally feels like, you know, some sort of like Looney Tunes. <laughs> like the sound effect as well, it really does feel like a Looney Tunes sort of effect. I don't know why that lady outside wasn't attacking us. Because, uh, you know, everyone else inside attacked us. And I don't really know what the connection to Sotha Sill is, if anything. I assume, I assume Sotha means something, because it, it, like, if you go really deep into the Elder Scrolls lore, there's there's a whole load of meanings and languages, and that there's a whole load of shit. The deeper you go, the more confusing it gets. So I'm sure Sotha does actually mean something in some language, whether that's Daedric or Dunmer or Dwemer or whatever. I just don't know what it means. Because, <laughs> uh, like, Vivek right? The Vex name, it's like, it's like two V's, essentially. So V, as in, like, the phonetic sound of the letter V, V, and Vec is like the the name of the letter in the Daedric alphabet or something. So there, there are meanings, I just don't know what it is for Sofa Silk. But anyway, uh, we are I back, Endrin. Have you found the Shoes of Saint Realms? I have indeed. Yes, these are the shoes of St. Realms. Will you return them to their proper place in the temple? Give shoes. Good, I will make sure they are cared for. I wonder what happens if you keep them? Will they just say, oh, okay, well, that's a bit selfish of you, or will they actually attack you? I don't know. Anyway, can I have an advancement? No, okay. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, do you have any more duties for me? Yes, you do. There is a foul cult operating under the St. Delon can Canton here in Quebec. Their meeting place is known as Finip... It, it, in... <laughs> Inip Palette? Wait, is that the place we found before? With the orc? Outside? I don't know, that seems vaguely familiar. The cult meets there. I know only that that place is somewhere beneath St. Dillon Canton. Go there with fire in your eyes and in your heart. Okay. <laughs> Bring the temple's justice to the leader of this cult. Yeah. <laughs> Yadmund, <laughs> I wish I could accompany you, Disciple of Velen, but I cannot. However, I can offer you these scrolls. This place holds as much danger as Al Sotha. I did not believe you were ready, but you have proven me wrong. I hope that you will surprise me and return unharmed from inner palette as well. Is that an I or a T? I think it's an I. Yeah, it's just because it's in blue. I can't really see it. Okay. So he's given us a whole load of scrolls, which is nice. We need to find someone to sell stuff to. <laughs> So, I mean, we're in, like, the biggest city in the game, so, or, or the province, I guess, so where, like, well, okay, this is the St. Olm's Canton. Um, I still don't really understand how Vivek is laid. Okay, so St. Del that's the St. Delon Canton right there. So, I mean, surely there must be just, like, merchants in, like, all of these places, really? Because we really need to offload some stuff, so hopefully, if we head inside, there will just be some people around, and thankfully, now that we have... <laughs> <laughs> these super cool boots on uh, we shouldn't have to waste too much time running around and I assume when he said you know under uh, he meant you know in like the waste works or whatever glass workers hall what is this glass worker yes outlander I mean I know, you know, I know I know what a glass worker is in real life but I don't know is there something I can what do that has to do with Morrowind you, you know we've got a <laughs> these ramps really just <laughs> like how how would you climb that ramp? Because <laughs> I'm sorry, but you can't you can't do that. <laughs> you know, I mean, you could if you like ran at it, and it you know pulled yourself up, and you could slide down it. But it's not you can't walk up this. That's not how it works. <laughs> but sure, it, whatever. I mean, do you guys sell anything? Exotic items? Oh, that might be a quest. Can I sell anything? No, it's just gonna be a whole load of. Yeah. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? Okay, well, oh, look at this. They got like a. What do you think of our city? Yes, yeah, it is literally what just like a want? glass making place. That, that's strange. I, mean, I suppose it. You know, these sorts of place would, places would exist, I suppose. It's just kind of. I don't know. They, they usually don't actually incorporate them, you know? Okay, so it doesn't seem like there are any shops at all. I mean, are they further down? Because it's weird. Sometimes the shops are on the upper levels and sometimes they're way like down here in this bit but it's hard to tell to be right. honest we just got um like a graveyard there which is weird storage 
Oh, okay. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Oh, it's just a rat. That <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Oh, what is this? It's literally just storage, I guess. Okay, well. Oh, oh, that's locked. Okay, there might be some. I mean. Ah! No, a villain wouldn't. <laughs> See, it's like, I want to explore, but a villain really wouldn't do that, so... Okay, well, let's go down into the Underworks and see if we can find this place, and then uh, we will... Well, we'll end the episode and I'll find somewhere to uh, sell some stuff after that. We've got a whole load of rats down here. See, I feel like it might be that place that we found before, the uh, one with the orc outside, and he wasn't... He wasn't hostile to me outside, but then when we went inside and talked to his friends, they were suddenly hostile, so I feel like that might be place and I you know I went back out because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that so if it is the place I'm glad that I did not uh, keep that safe because that might have uh, ruined this quest and caused us yeah look see that guy that's exactly what I was thinking of it, it's been infested with rats since we were last here though yeah look see this this man whoa whoa whoa, whoa. okay okay wait no actually you're not the same person you're not an orc you're a you're, you're a nord I think Okay, oh wow, we got another level up? That's interesting. Or is that maybe just a, it just gives you that every time when we get a skill up, when we have a level up? Yeah, I don't know, is it just, is it always a, I thought it was a, an orc out here. I don't know, why are there so many rats all of a sudden? I swear there weren't this many rats before, this is ridiculous. I mean, is that where, are you still alive? Yeah, let's just, uh, yeah, you may, may as well clear out the entire infestation. Okay, well, let's head on inside. Is this... Not mine. Oh, no, this isn't trying to show you Gorath, isn't it? Yeah, no, so this is this is different, I think. Yeah, so I guess the other one was just a different shrine that's under Vivek, which is pretty interesting. Still got another girl here. Yeah, okay, so no, it, it is a different one, but they, I mean, they all kind of look very similar. Ooh, look at this! Oh, I like that. That's very pretty. Black anther plants and dragon... or... Draggle tail? That's interesting. Oh my god, look all- oh my god, look all- see, is this just because we're like, you know, a high level now? We're really low on carry weight, so I don't think we can take all that stuff. Uh, I will come back and take anything though, uh, in between episodes. We've got anything in here? Soul gem? Book? Eh. Okay, we've got anything over here. I mean, the fact that it's Shagorath Shrine is pretty interesting. We've got a fire blade. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. I will come back and pick all of this up, don't worry. Wait, wait, is that sword anything interesting? No, just a standard sword. We've got uh, some like drinks in that one. This is uh, obviously Sheagora with his uh, cane and everything. Can I take these? Or are you gonna are you gonna get mad if I take these? Oh, yep, yeah, he's gonna get mad. <laughs> it's summoned a Dramora, I mean, it's not really gonna stop me. It's not gonna give you your jewels back. But hey, you know, if you if you're upset about me taking the stuff, I understand. Um, it's not gonna stop me from taking it, but because <laughs> uh, yeah, apparently it costs a hundred thousand gold to enchant a single item in this game sometimes, so, um, yeah, I, I will be taking all the things. Uh, Dreg stuff? Nah, you, you can keep that. Anything in this chest? A lock isn't gonna keep me out. Uh, excuse me? Thank you. 66 gold, okay. And you got anything? No. Okay, well, there we go. We will go and, uh, ooh, can we, ooh, no, we can't climb that, I don't think. I thought, I thought we could maybe climb that, but no, there's nothing up there. Okay, so I will find somewhere to sell a whole load of stuff in between episodes and I'll come back and take anything that we uh, haven't been able to take in this episode. But then in the next episode we'll go and hand in this quest. So for now I hope you have enjoyed this episode, like if you have. Subscribe if you would like to see more and I will see you in the next episode.